What is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. In the epic mobile game, Brutal Age, what is the best way to stop the server stalkers? The ones that suppress everyone else, keep everyone down. That's what the video's on. We're gonna break it down chapter by chapter. This is me, poor Easy. Got smashed by a huge player. He came and sat in the hive. This happens to a lot of clans. Where you'll, you'll have one clan that's in your server that's way stronger than everyone else and they will beat down everyone else to make sure that no one else does anything it's kind of kind of productive if you want to win the server war which is what a lot of players are trying to trying to participate in we use what's called the rally attack that's when multiple players from your clan get together and attack one player from the other clan and believe it or not one player can start a war so if there's one player that, from another clan that keeps on Attacking everyone in your clan or one player in your clan that you're allowing to attack everyone else They can literally start a war We call it a civil war and it is pretty dangerous to have a civil war in your server if you want your server to succeed If you've been watching on the right side of the screen how many players were involved in this one attack? There was about 10 of us Attacking one defender, but that one defender had reinforcements. So those seven or eight defenders inside that one base Chapter 2, how to keep a secret. This is a really big part of a, of a big rally attack is to keep it keep it quiet. There's actually five keys to success, but we call them the five P's. The first is planning. You don't want to plan on your server. You don't want to plan it in your clan chat just in case they have spies. Go onto a, onto a, like a line app or a separate app and, and go plan it there. Patience is vital. You don't, this, this attack that we did took over a month of planning. Next is partnership. You can't do this by yourself. You can't do this with two people. This is like an eight or ten man process Man or woman <laughs> Privacy is what we just talked about. Don't go onto world chat or whore chat even and, and stop bragging about what you're gonna do The last of the five P's is perseverance If your clan was anything like ours, you're outmatched by the other clan by a lot So you're gonna have to really protect yourselves and stay shielded and, and keep those troops hidden and your resources hidden for as long as possible only farm on tile Preserve the clan So now you see on the right hand again. You see all these uh, attacks These were some pretty heavy losses taken on both sides. So you're gonna have to kind of bear with the first uh, The first couple of attacks too. We'll get into that a little more later. So here's the rules Here's here's what you need, need to know to rally like a pro What would our goal is to zero a 250 million power player that has 2 million troops minimum or and 500,000 reinforcements so that's a pretty big player. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna have to have a leader that has a, the, the leader of the rally is gonna have to have T5 troops. The leader must use an attack pattern runes. Must have an attack runes uh, and have his talent page set for war. The leader must also have partners that can win a partner battle. Remember, we're gonna try to do this when they're offline, but players will still set partners in their uh, stronghold to to defend the stronghold. Everyone. Uh, must have their flame and set now if you have 10 people and you have that ra the rally uh, the march increase set at tw 25 or to 50 percent you can have uh, 250 to 275 thousand troops each that's 2 million to 2.5 million the leader has to have 450 to 500 thousand troops that brings you up to almost 3 million in the rally uh, if the flame and faith now we're back to flame and if the flame and faith is at 100k or more then you've just equaled your troops attack 100 percent of your troop attack and uh, also, all members of the rally, except for the leader, they should probably have their hospital capacity rune set. That way, if you do take heavy losses, your hospital will hold everything. Uh, planning for where the outposts are all going to go, how you're all going to line up to attack the opponent, is a really tricky thing. It's going to take a lot of planning. It took us a long time to figure all this out. But that's what you want to do, is you want to talk about it. Uh, maybe do a couple practice runs even if it's going to be a really big attack and figure all that out before and the leader should be one tile away from the person they're going to attack if they're if you're in the same horde or or as close as possible if you're in a different horde remember you don't want to attack off of a different color because you'll die and they won't one of the keys to this rally is you have to be able to set the rally use the skill set off and be in their outpost before anyone can reinforce them so you may want to practice that to have all the guys be able to join the rally and you set it off and then use the instant attack all in time. Uh, next, leader, use use all the dragonkin skills. If you're not sure which ones to use, just press them all. 
use your attack boost from your bag. Now, as far as troops go, let's say if you have 250,000 troops, you want to use 200,000 of your best troops and 50,000 T1 for a meat shield, so those will die before the big troops will die. Now, remember this too, the first couple of attacks, two, maybe even three, you may, it may even say that you lost the attacks, you'll take even losses with your opponent. What you want to do is heal as soon as you can, use group heal as many players in your, in your clan as you can. If you have a banker that will go along with you and actually uh, send you resources while you're attacking, that would be great. And last thing, if you want to look like a pro while you're attacking, behave like one. Don't sit there and taunt them and, and throw everything out in ball chat as soon as you get a little damage on them. You'll, you'll thank yourself later. So now, we actually took down two players of two, 250 million. The first one we took down because he was in our hive still. The second one we took down because they had almost 2 billion in resources, which is basically what this clan had stolen from us. Uh, not to get personal with it or anything, but that, that's what you're looking for too. There's, there's what's called high risk, high value. You're, this is an extremely high risk maneuver that we did. We could get uh, persecuted heavily for this by this clan from now on. So we have to make sure that we make an impact. And we make an impact by attacking big players uh, and players that have a lot of resources. So we can rebuild our, uh, us up as best we can. But this may look like it's just this vengeance thing on the screen. And it kind of was a free for all. Because at this point we'd already zeroed them. But they still had millions and millions of resources. We wanted to end the civil war more than anything. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to hit these players and we wanted to end this so they have respect for us and know that we are not just nobodies we can attack back if we want to. We were choosing not to until now. If you attack a weak player that's unknown or unpopular, then uh, no one's going to care and it's not going to have any impact. You want to make an impact with, with these attacks that you set. Now, unfortunately, because these are such fast-paced videos, I wasn't really able to go through and, and point out what all the troops were used. But we tried to use as many T5s as we could. And after that, we used T4s or even T3s in there. So if you don't have T5s, as long as someone does, you'll be okay. Last chapter, chapter 5, GTFM. Most of you probably know what that is. That's get the, get the money. And, and then go. So get all the resources you can after attacking. And then get out of there as fast as you can. And if the, there is a player in their clan that has War Chief and they still have he Heaven's Fury, don't go back to the don't go back to the hive. They may bomb it. They may nuke it. So stay away from that. One way you can really tell that you're in a clan with some very good, experienced players is when, as good as they are, they still go and get help. The leader of our clan, give a shout out to Huz. He's kept this clan alive for years under heavy, heavy fire from everyone else in the server. This time he went out and got one of the best players, well, most well known, Big Helmet. He broke down how to do these attacks, how to do them like an expert, and uh, thank him for that. Everyone can thank him for that because now everyone knows how to do it. Hopefully this is going to help someone. I, I just wanted to warn everyone too, that as good as it feels to, to, to zero someone that's been attacking you for months at a time, that could be the end of you if you're not careful right after. So don't just go out and attack the, the bullies on your server. You have to be very mindful of when, where, how. You have to have a plan. You have to have a plan for what happens after. And you have to follow through. This was done not to, for revenge, but to unite the server, believe it or not. We did this in hopes that they'll see, okay, these guys can play too. Maybe we can win a war with them on server war if we stop trying to attack them all the time. Now the odds of them going from attacking you all the time to having respect for you, well those odds are terrible. But at least you'll be taking a step in the right direction. And a fitting end of the video, my base in a permanent bubble, which is where we'll stay for the next couple weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now I'm thinking about putting a list of the rally, the steps for the right rally, and posting it up on my Facebook, which is Easy Street Gaming on Facebook. Look for that in the next couple days. So really appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I the subscriptions and all the comments and everything just blow me away so I really thank everyone. Till next time, good evening.